pray. Thank you for the wife. Thank you for the children. Thank you for family members, friends, and colleagues. Lord, be thou glorified in the highest in the name of Jesus. And so, Heavenly Father, as we gather together at this commendation service, Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you take absolute control in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will speak to us in our hymn singing, in the word of God and our prayers in Jesus' name. And we pray, O oh God, that at this service, you will teach us, O oh God, to normal our days, that we can apply our hearts to the path of wisdom in Jesus' name. And at the end, let all the glory be unto you. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Was a founding member of the movement of the Media Independent Action Association of Nigeria, also known as Nipan. Was the first president and sat for eight years from 20, from 2008 to 2015 until his death as he became an ex-official member of the Executive Council of the Olympic Football Association. He was a fellow of the Advertising Functional Council of Nigeria, Akon, now known as Akon, and a fellow of the Institute of Director of IMD, and an alumni of Agro GP and Lagos Business Club. Until his death, so he was a chairman of Eight Man Audience Month, usually called Panel Committee, inaugurated by the federal government under the Minister of Information in 2022. So you will require a the life of the new legacy and he will inspire many generations. He will always be remembered for you as a beloved husband, a devoted father, a doting son, a dear brother, cousin, uncle, and also a leader by excellence, and any man, and a course of record in the marketing communication industry. So those influence will continue to shape the lives of those who had the privilege of knowing him, and his memory will ever stand as a great of guidance and inspiration to follow the world.
are you going to be remembered for? What am I going to be remembered for? Every one of us here this morning, what are you going to be remembered for? In the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, from verse 36, let me quickly uh, go to that passage, Acts chapter 9, from verse 36, Acts 9, from 36, okay, that there was a Jehovah, a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and arms did, which she did. The next verse. Have we go to the next verse? And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died. Oh, when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. The next verse. And for as much as Linda was nigh to Jehovah, and the disciples had heard that Peter was dead, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not be made to come to death. Verse 39. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by him weeping. And showing the coats and garments in your casket while she was with them. Verse 40. But Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed. And turning to the body said, That Peter arrived. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. What are you going to be remembered for? In that passage, there was one of the disciples. The Bible calls her a disciple. But this woman was a widow. This woman was a widow. But even in being a widow, she had a ministry. And what was the ministry? The ministry of taking care of other widows. As a child of God, do you have a ministry? As a child of God, are you rich towards God? And are you rich towards your fellow human beings? The Bible says, God has was devoted to good works. That's not like that. She was devoted to good works. And one of them, the Bible mentioned it. Taking care of the widows. Brethren, this morning, we have gathered together not to honor a dear brother. Brother Greg, I don't know what. He has done his own beat. And he has gone. And we are gathered together this morning at this commendation service is to ask ourselves that question. What do you want to be remembered for? That woman was making garments for widows. And when she died, the Bible says she actually died. Not that she was only sick. She died. That is telling us that every one of us dead is sure. There is no one, nobody, that will not die. Even the oldest person in the Bible, did you say that? Was it 969 or so? She died. So, this life that we are in is not the end of everything. It's just a means to an end, the word that we are in. And no matter the number of years that we spend on earth, one day we are going to live. Either you are young 
or you are old, either you are great or you are small. Even the Bible says it in the book of uh, Revelation. It says, I saw both great and small. Six feet is the level. Even though some people they are buried in some places that we can say in high class tombs, like MIC, Ebony, and the rest. And some people are buried maybe in Atom or Matori Cemetery. But the grave is in Levla. Everyone will leave this world one day. And after leaving this world, there is another world, another life after. Eternal life or eternal death. And I pray for every one of us here this morning. None of us will partake in eternal death in the name of Jesus. Everybody will die, will leave this world. When death comes, death will not look at your normal of all limitations. Death will not look at your achievements. Death will not look at your certificate. Death will not look at the number of houses that you possess. Death will not look at your possessions, the number of cars. When it is time, everybody will leave this world. And I pray, by the time death will come, all of us, we shall not partake in condemnation in Jesus' name. So, death is very, very sure. I used to say this, even if your name is uh, Duro Jaye, Duro Jaye will die one day. If your name is Rotimi, Rotimi will leave you one day. If your name is Kokumo, Kokumo will die one day. If your name is Madama, Madama will go. Many years ago, I was at IFE, University of IFE, those days, not only you. There was an Oba there. If you go to the palace in the morning, as old as the Oba was, you will see very, very young, like a young man. But go there in the evening. He will, he will now come to himself as an old man. And some people are saying, maybe the other was doing a Saturday way of the wedding. But there was a time that came. And the man had to die. So everybody will die. And the moment we have that in our hearts, then we know to be very wise. According to the word of God, that teach us to number our days. When some people celebrate bad days at times, I always look at them. You know, the moment you celebrate that day and you are rejoicing, ah, you are one year closer to that place. Every one of us. And the life we live in is very, very uncertain. This life is full of uncertainties. Joy in the morning, sorrow in the evening. Hurt in the morning, pain in the evening. And that is why the Bible says, Remember now your Creator in the days of your youth. When death has not come, when the day of evil is yet to come, so when you can still raise up your hands, your legs, when you are still active now, why not do good works?
good so much because you remain God forever. We thank you for the life that our brother, husband, father, brother, and lovely boss and colleague, Mr. Tolulope Obukoye. The life he lived, so much has been said that we can see that surely while he was here, you we were with him. And we return all glory to you because you are still the one that called him to yourself. We are grateful. Father, we pray for the family. We pray for the wife, Mrs. Shola Obukoya, that God Almighty you will comfort her. We pray that the family, surely they have missed him. But we pray that you are the father of the fatherless, you are the Lord that is always there for those that have lost their home. We pray that you will be with this family in the name of Jesus. When they look around and they miss him, we pray you will be there to comfort them in the name of Jesus. And God, we pray for the viewer and the brother. That target, that goal that their father want them to be. I pray, even beyond that now that is gone, you will give them the grace to reach that goal and beyond in the name of Jesus. We pray that they will make the father, their mother, and the entire family proud in the name of Jesus. Most importantly, they will make you proud in heaven in the name of Jesus. We pray for every of the colleagues, everyone who has come across him that he has impacted in one way or the other, in the same field, in the same career. We pray that God will comfort them up in the name of Jesus. We pray that those wonderful things that they have wanted to achieve for our nation, Nigeria, for his profession and his career, we pray. That you will still make them to achieve them more in the name of Jesus. We pray, King of Glory, that Lord, everyone who is hot, everyone who is going through all pain, we pray that we allow them to go through the great process. Once again, we commit our sister, Shola, into your hands, and the family, and the children, that God, what no one can do you will do for them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Blessed be your holy name. says in all things we should give thanks to God. We have to thank God for the life our brother lived. Like uh, the our brother said, said he never called me to do that. He always called me decade. He sure lived a very wonderful life. I know it is painful, but you see, the cameras are here recording. And then I know Tobiwa and the, what's the name of the brother now? Oluwati Misola and the double T. I listened to them this morning, all of you will still listen to them. 
They are watching us, and on their behalf, we are going to thank God that they lasted after their father had gone. And that's the reason why we want to do this now. We are going to thank God and appreciate God. Because God did not allow Uncle Becky to mourn his children. It is the children that are celebrating him, that he is gone. So we are going to thank God for that. And then we are going to do it in this way. We are going to thank God. We are going to stand up. We are going to stay on the floor. So all of us on this side, from the back, we will come, drop our offering, and we will go back through this center. All of us on this side, from the back, we come, drop our offering, and drop our offering, and go back on this side. May the Lord Almighty give every one of us in the name of Jesus. Choir, and God will come here with the family. Let's drive on everyone.
Well, I think it's been it's been a very long journey. It will be one bitter pill that we've had to swallow, but uh, the reality is done. But for me, the most important thing is the fact that I'm personally indeed proud of my boss. We are all proud of him. He's done a good job. He has left a big legacy, and we hope and pray that God will strengthen all of us to be able to carry on that legacy and leave it all up. Um, he's been he's lived a very purposeful and impactful life, and the impact has been quite positive all around both in the family sphere, on the business sphere, in the friendship sphere. We saw some of his colleagues. We've heard so many amazing things. We thought we knew so much about him, but from what we have heard, he's actually a lot bigger than we thought. And we are so proud of him. We are so happy. And uh, thank God for his life. And we only hope and pray that we'll be able to carry on the legacy. And we, 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 we beseech God to grant him eternal rest. And we believe that God will comfort and console the family and keep us all strong so that we can carry on to his glory. Thank you so very much. Um, we just want to thank God for his life. He, he lived um, an impactful life and um, definitely we are all going to miss him. From his family, the children, the wife and the siblings. Even our, our aged parents, they are going to miss him so much. He's a wonderful person, honest, dedicated, principled. And to him, he wants success for everyone. He doesn't see it as a competition. May he so continue to rest in peace. He did what God created him to do, to suit the pain of others, to be a blessing to humankind, to live by showing that in kindness you can be gracious, in kindness you can be firm, in kindness you can go without even telling anyone of your religion to proclaim that God is God. That is who he is. He's a legend, a shining light. He's a yellow. I don't know if you know what that means, but he's a yellow. And he epitomized that song by Coldplay, Yellow. Tolu will forever be a yellow. Thank you. We sure hope you enjoyed this video. For more entertaining video content such as behind the scenes of music videos and movies, music concerts, premieres, interviews and exclusive gists, subscribe now to our YouTube channel Goldmine TV and be unleashed into a world of super